This video is about giving instructions with the drawing axes. What I've got here is brand new SketchUp file. I haven't drawn anything yet. As always, I'm going to select Bryce and delete him. Sorry about that, Bryce. What I'm going to talk about in this video are the drawing axes. And if you notice, uh, even zooming in doesn't make them any thicker or anything like that, so it's not really going to help you see them. But what I've got here is a blue axis, a green axis, and a red axis. Now. Why are the axes in SketchUp different colors, right? They could be X, Y, and Z. This could be X, Y, and Z. That would be more like the geometry you probably learned in middle school or junior high or something like that. <clears throat> now, the reason for that is SketchUp wants to let you draw in three dimensions without having to pay much attention to what color you're drawing in, or I should say direction you're drawing in. And the reason I say that is because color is direction in SketchUp. Watch this. If I take the pencil tool and I sort of orbit up a little bit so that I'm looking down on the ground a little bit more, what I'm doing is I'm using the mouse to orbit and uh, you'll learn about a little bit more about that uh, later on in this chapter. What I've got here is the pencil tool, which is also called the line tool, and I'm just going to start drawing on the ground. Now, when I draw a bunch of lines like that, it creates a face. And I wasn't really paying attention to where I was drawing. Let me go ahead and grab the um, edit and what I'm going to say is I want to select all there we go and delete what I just drew okay let's start drawing again let's say that I wanted to draw parallel to one of these axes watch what happens to my line as I'm drawing this line you notice how it's changing color red and green things like that it even changes blue if I kind of move it up here the reason for that is it's trying to tell me when I'm parallel to one of these axes so watch what I can do Let's say I want to come over this way in the green direction. I'm going to wait till I get that little on green axis hint and click. And then let's draw over here in the red direction. And then we'll draw over here in the green direction. Let's come back in the red direction over in the green direction. SketchUp's going to give me a little hint that says I'm lined up with that edge. So I'm going to stop there and click here again. Now, what I've done is something that, that's actually pretty unusual in 3D drawing software. And what I've done is drawn a little shape with a whole bunch of 90 degree angle corners without having to specify what direction I wanted to draw in. All I was doing was following the colors. So let's, let's see all of that again. I'm going to select all. I'm going to delete what's already there. And let's draw a rectangle using the colors. So I'm going to come over this way in the red direction. Let's go this way in the green direction. Notice I'm watching what color that is. If I don't pay attention, if I'm just drawing like here or over here or something like that, I'm not going to get a 90 degree angle on this corner. So if I want a 90 degree angle, I have to pay attention to those colors. Let's go in the red, I'm sorry, the green direction. Let's come back in the red direction until I'm lined up with that point over there. And then I'm going to close that. And so what I was able to do is draw a rectangle in perspective without actually having to measure any angles or anything. Now, the perspective's kind of uh, extreme here. So they don't look like 90 degree angles, but I, I assure you those are actually 90 degree angles on the corners. Okay, let me show you um, something else about the, the axes here. This is a good demonstration that a friend of mine showed me um, for, for demonstrating how important following these colors are. Watch this. If I want to draw a face that's perpendicular to this face, what I'm going to do is draw, notice how I'm just drawing an edge and I started at this corner, I'm going to draw in the blue direction, meaning I'm parallel to this blue axis. Let's go up in the blue direction. I want to come back over in the red direction, right, parallel to this axis. And when I get over to this end, it's going to tell me when I'm above that point, so I'm going to click, and then come back down in the blue direction to there. And then I'm going to orbit. And for the sake of just showing you where orbit is on the toolbar, this is the orbit tool. Normally I orbit by just clicking down on the middle um, mouse button. The, the scroll wheel basically acts as a button, and I can click down on that to scroll all I want. I'm sorry, to orbit all I want. What I've done here is I've created a face that's at 90 degrees to the first face that I made, and I did that by following those blue color directions. So I was able to draw on a completely different plane without having to type in anything or, or worry about the keyboard in any way. All right. What I'm going to do is grab the eraser tool and just erase these edges and that face that I created before. And I'm going to do this without following the color axes this time, just to show you um, how wrong you can go. So I'm not going to I'm not going to watch the blue there. I'm going to do this when it's black. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say yeah. All right. So what I just drew is something that actually looks a lot like what I drew before, right? It's 
it's a face and it's perpendicular to this face, except that I didn't pay attention to the colors. And the problem there, let me grab the orbit tool again, is that I didn't actually end up drawing what I meant to draw. So you notice that when I wasn't actually watching the colors of those edges, what I was doing was drawing on the ground because that's what SketchUp does by default. If it's just drawing in front of a, sort of a blank space and it sees the ground, it's just going to draw on the ground. So really, really important. Let me grab the eraser tool and erase those edges I had before. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to go up in the blue, over in the red, and down in the blue, and that's how I actually end up with a face in the direction that I'd like it to be in. Okay, let's talk about using these color directions for more than just drawing with the pencil tool. So I'm going to take the um, arrow and I'm going to select everything just by drawing a, a box around it. I'm sorry, this is the select tool, not the arrow. And I'll go ahead and I can right click and say erase. There's a, a lot of ways to do everything in SketchUp. I'm sort of giving you a taste of all of them. Let's go ahead and just take a little rectangle and use the push-pull tool and pull that up into a box. Now what I've got is a, a little box here. And let's say I wanted to use the move tool to move this around. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take this whole box and I'll just select it by drawing a little thing around it. What I can also do is triple click on it with my left mouse button to select it. Watch. One click, two clicks, three clicks, and then it, it selects the whole thing. And I'm going to do is I'm going to take the move tool. So up here is the move tool. And we talk about the move tool a little later in this chapter, so you don't have to worry too much about it. What I'm trying to show you is the importance of the colors right now. What I'm going to do is take this little endpoint, and I'm going to start moving this box. And notice what happens. It's kind of hard to see, but the little dotted line that's following the box says that I'm parallel to the green axis. So that's how I know I'm moving this box in the green direction. Let's come up and move it in the red direction. There's red. And if I want to move it up, I'm going to move it in the blue direction, just like that. So moving it in the red direction, moving it in the green direction, moving it in the blue direction, just like this. Now if I orbit around, you'll see that I actually did end up moving it away from where it was before. It's kind of underground and in the background a little bit here. All right, so that's the key to the colors in SketchUp. When you're moving or when you're drawing, and there's a few other operations that, that sort of change color as you're moving them as well. You're always paying attention to the colors of the axes. That's the end of the video on giving instructions with the drawing axes.